Hello everyone, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks and today I'm answering questions related to GarageBand for the Mac operating system and uh, I'm using the search feature in YouTube to find out what people want to know. And I can see here a lot of people want to know uh, how to change the key without transposing, which is a little bit confusing because when you change the key of a song, you are essentially transposing. So I think I know what you're asking, but I'll show you a few different ways that you can change the key of a song in GarageBand. So I am on Catalina, but this will work for most, you know, recent 2018, 19, 2020 versions of GarageBand. So I've got a song here and what you can do, um, I've got three MIDI tracks, which have a piano, a bass, and a, me a melody line. And then I've got two drum tracks here. So let's have a quick listen to the track before we uh, start changing the key. So what you can do, if I click on this first piano track and open the editor, so I can use this scissors icon on the top left-hand corner or use the E shortcut to open and close the piano roll, or it's also called the MIDI editor or just the editor. Um, I can also double click on the MIDI region there. So um, there is the traditional way to transpose is um, down here on the editor. You've got the region and the notes. So under the region, you can actually transpose this. You know, uh, e each one of those increments is a semitone. So if you're on a piano, the semitone is just the next note up, whether it's a black note or a white note. So uh, let's have a listen to what that's done. So if you're going to transpose it that way, you need to do it on all of the MIDI tracks. Otherwise they'll be in different keys and it won't sound right. So if I go through each track, I can transpose each one up I think I did two tones. Yeah. So now let's listen um, and see if that matches. Okay. So that has changed the key uh, that's transposed. Now I want to actually take that back. So that's one way of doing it. That's the traditional way of transposing a track. Let's see if they match up now. Yeah, they match up now. So the other way you can do it um, is by grabbing all the notes in the piano roll editor and just actually manually moving them up. And you have to select all the notes. So I've actually got a loop going on here. So I only have to select the four bars of that loop. And then I would have to go through each one and change. So it, for instance, what I'm talking about here, this is not a loop, this one here. So I would have to select, make sure I select all the notes and then drag them up a semitone. And you'll see it's actually accidentally changed the timing there a little bit. So that can be a bit of a pain when you're trying to transpose it manually, it might accidentally click onto the closest note. So, so to fix that, you can actually, after you've selected them all, zoom in a lot closer and just move them up like that. So now we should be one tone higher. So I actually had the transpose still on there. So let me go back. Okay, so I'm going to undo what I just did there, try and get back to where I was. I'll just make sure that transpose is off on all these tracks. Turn that transpose off. We should be back to the original key. Nope. Let's try that. Yep, there you go. 
So if you know a little bit about music theory, there is another way, a, a really, really easy way, but you have to kind of know what the key of your song is first to do this. And I have a whole nother video on this topic, but you can use the key of the key signature of the song to transpose the entire song up here. So this song is in C minor and I selected the key signature of C minor at the start. So it has to kind of match up. So this, if your song was in D minor, but you didn't change this at the very start, it, it won't work out. But I'll, I'll show you how to fix that anyway. Um, first of all, we're in C minor. So I can just simply go up there and you see we've got a list of major keys and minor keys. I can just change that to F minor. And it's going to transpose the whole song into F minor. Now bear in mind it will only change the software instruments um, and not the drum loops or anything that you have. If you've used melodic uh, Apple loops from the loop library on the right hand side here, so these loop library, uh, let's wait for this to open. If you've used any melodic audio loops, I'll just wait for this to catch up with me. There we go. If, if you use any melodic loops from over here, from the Apple Loops library, um, they will actually change the key when you change this one here. It will warp the audio. So let me see if I can find an example of that. I'll just type in C minor here. Well, let me just try anything really. Um, I'll try lead. See if I can find something. <laughs> I'll drag, actually, I'll just wait. I'll pop that back to its original key. And then. See if I can find something that matches up to this song. I think that's in C minor. So what I want to see is whether that loop now, because it's a melodic, it has melodic content in it, has notes, will actually change when I change this key. So let's give this a go. I've changed it back up to F minor. So it has, it has actually changed key. Now bear in mind that if you change the key too far up or down, some of these warped audio um, tracks might sound a bit funny. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So if I change this back to C minor, here is a little quick trick. Um, if you, let's say our song was in D minor. Um, I'm just going to delete this track. So I'm going to manually go and pop my song into D minor. I'm going to Pull these notes up. That's now D minor. I'm going to grab these. D minor. Grab these. Okay. So now we're in D minor. But this up here, it's saying C minor. So the keys don't match. And then it's really hard to transpose if the key of your song doesn't match the key up here. But here's a little trick. What you can do is you can select everything. I'm going to close the Apple loop browser and the library uh, and the editor rather. You select everything that you've got in your whole session and go edit, cut. And then change it to the proper key, D minor, and make sure your um, playhead is all the way back at the very start. And then you can just paste back in. Now, the key of your MIDI tracks, D minor, matches the key of the song. So I can then just use this global transpose feature really to change that 
into C minor. I can change it into E flat minor, whatever I want. Now you will start running into a little bit of trouble if you've already recorded vocals um, or if you have guitar and things like that recorded on your track. You can, it can get a bit glitchy and a bit funny when you start changing the global key and you have all these MIDI tracks will change their key, but your vocal track won't. So you have to mainly do this for software instruments. It's just the easy method of doing it and also Apple loops. Um, but there you go. I hope that answers that question or at least gives you some information to show a couple of ways you can change the uh, key of your entire song or you can change the key of individual instruments or performances using the editor. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.